Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Carl at Incarcerating. Please follow me on Instagram so we can be friends and we can talk about fashion. Just before winter ends in August, I wanted to create a video that will add value to your styling process for winter wear no matter where you are or who you are. This video intends to help people with a massive boot collection. And also for you guys to wear your long boots more and more for every day. So in this video, I'll be showing you six pieces that works well with long boots. And for the boots, I have a good mix of basic and high fashion avant-garde boots. This video aims to show you that by styling effectively, your look can shift into a more everyday and accessible style narrative. Yeah, I know some of us believe that the world is our runway and every day should be fashion week and I feel you guys, but it's not the case for everyone. Like we have to go to work, do a nine to five job. Chances are we need to adopt and be more sensible with our styling. We blend in sometimes and we stand out on other days. If you're watching this video, it is kind of given that you like avant-garde fashion and genderless fashion. Avant-garde outfits and pieces denotes a flexible aesthetic, which has the ability to create editorial looks. Also on the one end, the ability to offer a restrained, laid-back sophistication. Irregardless, this video is all about wearing your long boots in a gender-fluid and avant-garde way. So stick with me till the end. If you need a break, just grab your snack your coke zero or whatever. Also like this video if you enjoy this sort of video so I'll know if I'm gonna be making them in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and in that way you'll be notified if there's any new videos coming. I know I've been super inconsistent. So let me start with the first piece of clothing that are best worn with long boots. It's high time to ditch the pants. I mean, I love pants. I think they're great. They're versatile. However, I find that by wearing long boots with maxi skirts or pillar skirts are more edgy and strong. I think the optimum way to wear long boots is by wearing split skirts. So nothing is sexier and empowering when you're wearing like your long skirt with your thigh high or knee high boots. I think it's very sexy and strong and you're giving the people a peek of your boots while wearing your split skirts. I think it makes the whole look mystifying and strong. If you don't want to go all out, say if you're just going to do some errands outside, I would say wearing split skirts or long skirts with like a sedated top is the best way. I like things that are simple and it's always nice to dress modest and low key and in that way you're able to add you know, bits and pieces of pretty things in the end. It could be in a form of eccentric accessories. Or in my case, my hero accessory is always the boots. So also if you've got a long boots that scream attention, I think the best way to kind of scale it down is by wearing long skirts. This way you can kind of obscure the boots and still wear them without bringing in too much attention. So I'm wearing my metallic Rick Owens boots with a skirt. As you can see, there's still an element of concealment and um, visibility. Like you're in between of bragging your boots, but not really. I'm like that all the time. I'd go to an event and feel confident and the next minute I'm like super shy and I don't want people to look at me. It's really weird. I think it's how Gemini people works. So I believe that the skirt is the best template that can beautifully enhance the body, the height, the figure, the silhouette, and the mood. And up to now, it still boggles me why men can't wear skirts in an everyday setting. I think it's just ridiculous. Because you know, skirts can make you look fluid and statuesque and there is the continuity of the flow of the garment and I don't know, it just creates a strong foundation of the outfit. So the next garment is the tunic. So another great way to wear your long boots is by wearing tunics and long line tops. So tunic is a garment with a simplistic style that reaches your thighs or your knees. It is often mistaken as a dress or a 
t-shirt, it's kind of like in between. Since it's a longer garment, it's actually sensible to wear them with long boots. I choose tunics to work well with long boots because the length of the tunic covers the thigh or the beginning of the boots. Yeah, and tunics are garments that doesn't have any shape. It's actually most likely they're very straight and boxy. And being genderless, I find that silhouettes that doesn't have any shape has a more appeal to me. And for me, the relaxed fit is more casual and carefree in a way. And by wearing something carefree and relaxed, I think that will give you more confidence to wear your long boots. I have this Helmut Lang tunic top. This is pretty much like a dress, but I love wearing them with my long boots. In this video, I'm gonna be wearing them with my Rick Owens uh, metallic boots just to have that cohesive look. And if you wanna keep the whole aesthetic genderless and gender fluid, I would say stick with boxy silhouettes because, because they almost look like a plain and oversized t-shirt. So again, we are going by the rules of low-key dressing with long boots. For warmer days or springtime perhaps, opt for tunics that are sleeveless. One of them is the Yangli top, which is also a tunic in a way because it reaches my knee. And I think it's perfect for my long boots. As you can see, they're minimal, they're boxy and straight. There's no frills or embellishment. And I think it works well with wearing my long boots because sometimes I feel like I'm overdressed. But by wearing something plain and subdued, there is a balance in the whole look. And the next piece of garment are oversized t-shirts. This is my favorite among the pieces that I am going to be talking about only because I am a t-shirt kind of guy and I used to live in the Philippines and Philippines is a t-shirt weather and I think moving here in Australia, it's sort of like the same because it's very warm and sunny. T-shirts are everything and somehow it escalates the proportion and silhouette. And also if you wanna wear those crazy boots that you have in your wardrobe and you feel daunted to wear them, try wearing them with your oversized t-shirts and maybe style it with a belt or whatever. And I think that's the simplest way to style your long boots. I love wearing my weird boots with my oversized t-shirts because it's like, yeah, I'm wearing something extra, super weird, but at the same time, I'm just wearing a regular t-shirt. So I'm still kind of like approachable and normal and not too otherworldly. One of my favorite dressy t-shirts is this Rick Owens oversized t-shirt that I got a few months ago. I don't know, I can just wear them with my Rick Owens dark shadow fetish boots. And that's the look already. Like I don't need to style it too much. I don't need to go overboard. And yeah, just two pieces, t-shirts and boots and I'm done. Also another great t-shirt that I own you guys is the Cos oversized t-shirt that I got last year. I bought this acro beige version and I'm kicking myself for not getting the black one. But anyway, I love the color, I love the cut, and I think I love pairing this t-shirt with my lighter boots, like my brown boots from Rick Owens. So it's a good piece to have. It's very flowy, it's oversized, it's almost like a dress, but it's a regular t-shirt, but there's something extra about it. I'm always finding different ways to recontextualize existing silhouettes and this is sort of my take on that matter. On the other hand, if you want to be more experimental and kind of over the top, I would suggest a really oversized faux leather or leather shirt because the technical fabric offer more shape-shifting elements to the whole outfit. For example, this extra large Button down faux leather shirt that I got from Japan is my favorite go-to shirt when I want to wear my long boots. See, when I wear these, I don't look like I'm trying too hard or overanalyzing my outfit. And notice how it falls nicely and complements the long boots that I am wearing. I want to include these plastic tops that I have in my wardrobe. I never wear them too often because it's hard to style and it's not the most comfortable, especially if you sweat a lot. It's not the best. I mean, they look silly, but 
for fashion. I think it's a great piece. And actually, it's very warm. And they offer a lot of insulation through winter time. These um, PVC tops amplify any look. But at the same time, it's just a regular t-shirt. So you're still not that out there. If you're in the streets, if you're outside, you would still somehow blend in. Garment number four, asymmetrical pieces. Well, basic pieces doesn't necessarily mean boring. Asymmetric pieces, I think, are silhouette breakers since they disrupt the normal field of view of the garments. And I have this asymmetric piece from five years ago and I still wear them every time. It's my no-fail piece. Like whenever I wear them, I feel confident and I feel great. I don't know, it's just a simple asymmetric button down, but I keep coming back to them. I actually use it as an outerwear for summer and as a top for winter. Another asymmetric piece that I have is this cos mullet dress. It's very airy and breathable and light. I can imagine myself walking in a windy street, fighting my way through the crowd and marching on with my tough long boots. The fabric is billowing against the wind and I think that's beautiful. For a more thick and warm option, I have my wool cashmere asymmetric pieces as well and I think they go well with my long boots. They're long, dramatic, and they're also genderless. They're exceptionally both sensible and uniquely stylish. When you think about asymmetric pieces, you tend to think that they need to be flowy and light, but I have this Ivan Grundle piece that I bought on eBay. It features an asymmetric structure jacket with zips and a belt. It has that military avant-garde style and I love it. It has all the elements that I love in an outfit. I may be wearing muted colors as well but the visual and expressive new ones that these dark colors bring together embodies the summary of everything that I love. Garment number five are coats and blazers. Do you know how sometimes when you head out of the door, you get anxiety? Whether you're too overdressed or too extra, people will be staring at you, but then during the day, it gets better. See, coats are my best friends and my security blanket. During those times when I feel like I'm too overdressed or overpowering, I think by wearing coats, it makes you anchor onto something and coats and blazers can change an outfit into pure poetry. It can transform the basic of the basics and make any look have that architectural tone to it. And also I think blazers and coats are equal parts practical and polished. For example, this big oversized blazer from Celine worn with my boots still has that laid back sophistication. Like I can imagine myself wearing these in the city without looking too much. Like I can still blend into the crowd but at the same time have that sartorial expression going. And I think blazers is the quintessential urban garment that you can own. As boots get more dramatic and nuanced, coats that are longer I think are the best. This Lay Me Few jacket is my go-to when I don't want to flaunt my super weird boots. I can button them all the way up for warmth and protection and of course let's be honest it's super rad. Anyway this long reversible coat is one of my go-to's whenever I wear something light like a brown boots. I am wearing my Rick Owens Alicops boots. I think I've worn these in Paris two years ago and it's a match made in heaven. And it's a great coat because if I wear these freaky boots by itself, I think it's gonna draw more attention. But with this long coat, it softens the look. And that's the intention of wearing coats and blazers. And another great coat to wear is a nice simple kimono long coat. I have something like that by Andy Mulemeister and I think it's visually striking in sharp but not to the point that you look too intimidating. It also has elements of gender fluidity because it possesses both feminine and masculine attributes in a way that kimono has. And speaking of balance as well, I've been obsessing about Rick Owens' boulder like coats and blazers and he actually juxtaposed it with his kiss boots. And I want to recontextualize that look into what I have in my wardrobe. So I am wearing my Radhurani coat that has the same elements. The Radhurani coat boast elements of structure and strength and I must add that it's also versatile. If you 
can see there's like a zipper situation that's happening and garment number six the last garment in this video is the shorts so shorts are just like skirts but i think it's more safe from perverts finding the right shorts is the key depending on the look that you're going for for me because i love anything that is genderless and gender fluid i love drop crotch pants because drop crotch pants generally suits my genderless style like it looks like a skirt but it's not and i love how it eradicates the gender marking of the pants with drop crotch pants you have more room you have more movement and flexibility and i must add that the drop crotch pants are super comfortable the rick owens pod shorts are the best example i love wearing them with my it also my Rick Owens boots because Rick Owens shoes work well with Rick Owens garments. The shorts give that look a nonchalant street style that lends a masculine nuance. You can break rules, definitely. I feel reassured wearing voluminous pants with my bulky boots. Like in the normal fashion playbook, I think it's a sin to wear voluminous pants with your bulky boots. But for me, I don't care. I love breaking the rules. This combination has proven to be the best of both worlds. And these basketball shorts paired with my Rick Owens fetish boots may be too much, but with a simpler top or a subdued tank top or a shirt, it is still giving off a laid-back casual look like I'm not trying too hard but at the same time I am ready to take the day and you can also balance a baggy shorts or a structured short with stocking long boots I think they look fire and edgy so exploring new forms from the ordinary and banal is fun and challenging at the same time but by wearing pieces that allow you to move and function while still possessing that unique and nuanced sartorial expression I can say that you have finally mastered the true essence of style with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next video guys thank you for watching stay safe